around Cookstown. And we all, I think, have been on the 400 going past the Cookstown Outlet Mall. Yeah, ping pong, ping pong ball sized hail in that area. Good to see you. Suzanne Leonard with the team. Traffic in just a moment. Busy long weekend. Severe thunderstorm watches. That potential. And within the watch box, there are warnings. Warnings for Peterborough off to the east. Warnings for Strathroy and London down to the southwest. Uh, in between, we've got Guelph and Pickering. And up to the north, we've still got Newmarket and Orangeville under warnings. Warnings mean a red message is going out saying, be alert. There is rotation actually with this particular cell that is around, uh, it's now southeast of Uxbridge. Let me just step out of the way. You can see that whole line there. It's around Port Perry and Myrtle Station right now. Rotation meaning possible tornado trying to develop here. Just need to really stay very alert here. Uh, heading down towards Newcastle in that vicinity on the 401 in the next little while. Let's zoom in. You can see that broad sweep of the cells ahead of the cold front heading down towards the southwest. A few cells trying to bubble up behind, but the main energy is right now. And big hail, torrential downpours, blinding rain. Orangeville, this is north of Highway 9, up through Alliston, around the 400, very busy corridor right now, and then out towards Port Perry. Plenty of lightning with these storms. Storms, heat and humidity with us through the weekend. The risk of storms is continuing through tomorrow. It is hot and humid at the moment. It's all calm in Muskoka, but getting there, Rice, on the roads, that's a different matter. Completely different matter. And in case you missed it, I'm going to give you an update of the Toronto bound QEW. Taking a look now at active weather from coast to coast. It's coming up to 415 Eastern and 215 Mountain. Strong storms in parts of the prairies and in Ontario right now. Severe thunderstorm watches, meaning the potential of severe weather, and embedded within that severe thunderstorm warnings. In fact, rotation has been detected by radar by our meteorology team on this particular cell, which is still in the vicinity of Port Perry and headed down towards the 401. So this is an area where we're on high alert for the potential of a tornado. And as we take a look at this line, it is filling in back towards the Strathroy area, west of Kitchener, around Stratford, actually, more cells north of Sarnia. It's a very unstable air mass, and we've had extreme downpours today between Orangeville and Alliston and around Bradford, ping pong ball sized hail around Cookstown, Sharon, also had some large hail uh, and there's that cell with possible rotation just south of Port Perry likely to miss Oshawa and Whitby but come very close and slide down to the 401 just off to the east. Lightning always the biggest threat with thunderstorms the signature of these cells today very heavy rain and also hail and again if you're just joining us there is the possibility that a tornado could be trying to form with that cell on the east side of the GTA. Bottom line, stay alert. There are red messages, these severe thunderstorm warnings going out on TV, web, and mobile right now. So, severe thunderstorm potential, fairly uh, scattered within this overall box here. And the thunderstorm risk today is widespread. Why? Well, a low pressure system is sliding through. There's heat. There's humidity. 27 or so, how it feels right now. It's a little cooler towards the North Barrie, getting a bit of that cooler flow behind the cells. The sun is back out in some of these areas that have had the big downpour. So they don't last very long, but they're very potent when they roll through. Severe thunderstorm watches as well. And I'll just step out of the way so you can see the radar here across the prairies. There are warnings right now in the vicinity of Swift Current, some pretty strong thunderstorm cells uh, capable of producing nickel-sized hail, and they're moving southeast at about 50 kilometers an hour. So they're right around or just north of the Trans-Canada at the moment. We have a very, again, unstable pattern in the Prairie Provinces. We had a lot of lightning last night through Alberta. Saskatchewan as well. It missed most of the big cities. It avoided Regina, Calgary, and Edmonton, the worst of it. Today, it's a little cooler in uh, Alberta, certainly northern areas. Vancouver's on the hot side, and it only gets hotter still. Ahead of the low, eastern prairies and southern Ontario, southern Quebec, and it's muggy in the Maritimes and in Newfoundland. St. John's has been close to 30 degrees, setting records this week. Tropical moisture. We've got a tropical storm, Bertha. No threat to anyone right now. Well, no one in Canada. It's just east of St. Lucia, so that's being closely watched. Unsettled and humid in Ontario. The Toronto forecast is a little unstable for Saturday. It's a little more stable towards Muskoka and North Bay. Find out more about your hot forecast or your storms for the weekend. Go to for the footage. Um, I was talking to some family who were in Richmond Hill. 
went back to Sharon New Market and found that everything was soggy, but where they'd been in Richmond Hill, there had been nothing. And that really is the case today. Having said that, it is a day of very active weather. Uh, some signs of rotation with one of the cells. It's a fairly weak rotation, but it's an important thing to talk about because it does suggest possible tornadic development. Widespread, this is a look at radar showing very heavy rain, embedded heavy hail as well, and large hail at that. Uh, and this is the, the latest image here. I'll just pause it for you. This is over the last couple of hours, and you can see Allison's had several rounds. Everything's moving east, slightly southeast, so that's not fair. You just get more, and there's a bit more behind it, a bit more coming to Orangeville from the west, coming through Stratford, approaching Kitchener and Guelph. And again, severe thunderstorm warnings, got to take those seriously. They're appearing as a red message on your TV, web, and mobile screen right now. So there's the 400, very busy at this time of day. It's a long weekend. Risa has your traffic covered. We'll join her in just a second. New Market, Uxbridge, along the 407, the rain now. That's why Toronto, Mississauga getting into some of the heavier rain in the next little while. The worst of it's off to the east and north, north of Oshawa, heading down. It still looks like probably a little east of Bowmanville uh, towards the 401 in the next little while. That cell may have rotation with it. Uh, so a weak tornado touchdown is still possible. Uh, it's uh, a slightly elevated risk today. Risa, what's the traffic like? Well, you're absolutely right that the 400 is already seeing active weather. I'm seeing uh, Bowmanville, uh, Clarington, Port Hope, some areas seeing a very powerful storm cell head slowly down towards the 401. Severe thunderstorm watches are widespread. It is just after 4.30 in the afternoon. We continue with our live coverage in depth. The weather, the traffic, the Burlington Skyway Bridge, how to get around that mess there. And a mess of weather. And I just want to show you the overview here. It is a front coming through. It has strengthened more, in fact, than we had forecast for today, but we've had the latest analysis on live all afternoon. Uh, Port Perry, south of Port Perry, possible rotation with the cell, showing a, a little bit of a sign of weakening now, whereas the cell to the west around Uxbridge is showing some signs of strengthening, getting a little larger. There are a few cells to the north of Orangeville and west of Alliston still to come. Alliston's had big downpours down towards Stratford, around Elora, around Kitchener, Waterloo. This line Line of cells, it's still just north of the 401. It's reached the 407 where it's a little bit weaker, but do be prepared. Downtown Toronto, Mississauga, Port Credit, and along the 401, if you haven't had big downpours yet, this is moving in. The main signature would be rain and hail. We have, as I mentioned before, weak rotation with one of the cells to the east. And within severe weather, there is always the risk of tornadoes developing. It is not a high risk today, but there is that risk. So you need to stay alert. If severe weather moves in, safest place to be always, away from windows, in the basement. Wait safely and calmly for those storms to pass. And severe risk of storms continues this evening, but it will be a much diminished risk once that line of cells comes through. Temperatures, heat and humidity playing a role here. Lake breezes playing a little bit of a role in driving some of the lift, and so too is the front that's moving in. As far as the weekend's concerned, unsettled and humid at times. Humid in general, unsettled at times, a mix of sun and clouds, scattered storms. The further south you are, the better the chance, especially to the southwest and east. The further north you are, Perry Sound, Huntsville, North Bay, French River, Killarney, Kilbear, not looking quite so bad. Uh, and it's not looking bad, but it is looking hit and miss on Sunday and certainly late on Monday when the storm system moves in. So now you know what you need to know. As far as the weather is concerned, Risa, the traffic. Thanks, Suzanne. Well, I'm getting reports that if you're traveling on the 401 through Milton around Guelph Line, there is a collision there. 